The PCB boards used in this project are sponsored by the PCBA company, which is one of the most experienced PCB and PCB assembly manufacturer. They create high quality PCBs at reasonable prices. The Gerber files of the PCB boards used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBWay official website. You can find link in the description. Every year more people die from unsafe water than from all forms of violence including war. Have you ever tried to find out what is the pH value and TDS value of the water you are drinking? Using a pH sensor and a TDS sensor you can make a perfect water quality monitoring system. I have already used the pH sensor with Arduino and Node MCO ESP8266 Wi-Fi module for measuring the water quality. You can find links in the description. In today's episode you will learn how to make a water quality monitoring system using the Gravity TDS meter V1.0. DS18B20 waterproof one wire digital temperature sensor and 16 into 2 LCD with Arduino for measuring the TDS value. TDS stands for total dissolved solids. The TDS value as you can see on the LCD screen indicates how many milligrams of soluble solids are dissolved in one liter of water. Many TDS meters display the TDS value in ppm, which stands for parts per million. In general, the higher the TDS value, the more soluble solids are dissolved in water, and the less clean the water is. Right now, the water under test is excellent as the TDS value is less than 300. The TDS value starts increasing as I start adding the salt. So using this small DIY low cost TDS meter, you can find out if the water you are drinking is clean or not. Along with the TDS value, you can also see the EC and temperature values, which I will explain in a minute. I will also explain what TDS value is good for drinking water. I will explain all the three parameters in detail. You can also use a TDS pen which is quite cheap and can be used for measuring the TDS value. But if you are planning to make a hydroponic system which maintains a certain pH level, then the TDS pen will never work. Because for hydroponic systems, you will need an automatic system which can turn on and turn off other electrical devices. Moreover, you cannot use this TDS pen in IoT based projects. But this TDS meter by the DF robot can be used in automatic hydroponic and IoT based water quality monitoring systems. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the Gravity TDS Meter V1.0 analog sensor kit by the TF robot which is completely compatible with Arduino. One thing that I really like about this TDS meter is that it supports 3.3 to 5.5 volts wide voltage input and 0 to 2.3 volts analog voltage output which makes this TDS meter compatible with 5 volts and 3.3 volt control systems or boards. This comes with the plug and play type TDS prop which is waterproof and can be immersed in water for long time measurement. This board has the working current of 3 to 6 milliamps. The TDS measurement range is from 0 to 1000 ppm. While the measurement accuracy is plus minus 10% 825 degrees centigrade. While using this TDS meter, you have to be careful. 
The prop cannot be used in water above 55 degrees centigrade. The prop cannot be left too close to the edge of the container, otherwise it will affect the reading. The head and the cable of the prop are waterproof, but the connector and the signal transmitter board are not waterproof. So be careful while using the TDS meter analog sensor kit. As you can see this signal transmitter board has two connectors. The left one is the TDS prop connector. The right side connector is used to interface this module with the Arduino or any other compatible controller board. The connector pins are labeled with A which is the analog output pin and should be connected with the analog pin of the Arduino. Plus which can be connected with 3.3 or 5 volts and minus which is the ground pin. Before I'm going to explain the circuit diagram and programming, first I'm going to explain some basic things which I believe you should know. This TDS prop has no temperature sensor. So that's the reason I'm using TS18B20 waterproof one wire digital temperature sensor for the temperature compensation. This is important for the accurate values. Although the temperature compensation algorithm is reserved in the sample code, the default value is 25 degrees centigrade. But I highly recommend use a temperature sensor if you want the accurate values. Zero ppm is considered the most ideal result. TDS meters cannot detect non-ionic particles like sugar and will not contribute to the reading. As you can see, I am adding sugar, but the value almost remains the same. This TDS meter is based on the EC electrical conductivity and one EC equal approximately 900 ppm. The EC of most other metals, minerals and salts will carry a charge. A TDS meter measures the EC level and then converts it to a TDS measurement. You might be thinking what TDS value is good for drinking water. Water is considered excellent if it's less than 300 mg per liter. Water is considered good if it's between 300 and 600 mg per liter. Water is considered fair if it's between 900 and 1200 mg per liter. Water is considered unacceptable if the value is greater than 1200 mg per liter. As per the TDS regulation, the US EPA sets the maximum contaminant level for TDS at 500 ppm. The World Health Organization WHO sets the maximum contaminant for TDS at 1000 ppm. A TDS probe is connected with the signal transmitter board. The analog output pin of the TDS meter is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A1. The plus pin of the TDS meter is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts while the minus pin is connected with the Arduino's ground. Pin number 1 and pin number 16 are connected with the Arduino's ground. Pin number 2 and pin number 15 are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. Pin number 3 is the contrast pin of the 16 into 2 LCD and is connected with the metal leg of the variable resistor or potentiometer, while the other two legs of the variable resistor are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts and ground. The RS pin of the LCD is connected with the Arduino's pin number 10. The read-write pin is connected with the ground. The enable pin is connected with the Arduino's pin number 9. The data pins D4 to D7 of the LCD are connected with the Arduino's pin number 6, 5, 4 and 3. As you can see, a 330 ohm resistor is connected between the VCC and data wires. You can also use a 4.7K resistor. The data pin is connected with the Arduino pin number 7. The VCC is connected with 5 volts, while the ground is connected with the Arduino's ground. 
For the easy interfacing, I designed PCBs for the 16 into 2 LCD and power supply. These PCBs are manufactured by the PCBA company. As you can see, the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear. The black and blue solder mask looks amazing. I'm 100% satisfied with their work. All the connections are done as per the circuit diagram already explained. This is the power supply board used to distribute the 5 volt and ground wires. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. The RS pin of the LCD is connected with the Arduino pin number 10. EN pin is connected with pin number 9 of the Arduino while the data pins D4 to D7 of the LCD are connected with pin number 6, 5, 4 and 3. Initialize the library with the numbers of the interface pins. These are the pins and variables. In the white setup function, I activated the serial communication for the debugging purposes, activated the 16 into 2 LCD and DS18B20 temperature sensor. Inside the while loop function, I have used only one function which is the read TDS quick function. This is a user defined function. This function is called every one second. The purpose of this function is to read the TDS meter and temperature sensor and print the final values on the 16 into 2 LCD. So that's all about the programming. You have already watched this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.